Hi, thanks for joining me today. I appreciate you being here. I am working on a couple of things right here. First of all, I am using a new epoxy to me. I haven't used this before. It is a counterculture DIY fast set. So it's a fast setting, fast curing epoxy. It's a one to one, it takes three minutes to mix and two hours to dry to the touch, which is in the world of epoxy, amazing. And a lot of tumbler makers use this epoxy in between their layers of glitter, mica, vinyl, anything. The hitch with this is that it is um, not UV resistant and therefore it's not recommended that you use it as a top coat for anything, which is fine. I think to be able to have two hours dry time between the layers of tumbler making significantly cuts back on making time. And I've wanted it for a long time. I just seem to spend my money on, <laughs> on other things. I mean, I'm sure you can um, commiserate with the wish, the length of the wish list and all the things that a person wants and needs and has to have. But I think this one, especially for me, because I like to get on to the next thing, get on to the next thing, and I often have seven things going at once, that having this epoxy is going to make my life a little bit easier and more enjoyable because I'll be able to get projects done on my turner a little bit faster. So I did this uh, acrylic pour on this vase several months ago and it's been sitting around waiting for something special to happen to it. Um, I bought a Cricut in the summertime and I've known that I've wanted to put a decal on this vase um, but it just hasn't been just hasn't been a priority because up until now, everything that I put on my turner had to be on the turner for probably at least four to five hours before my epoxy dried, uh, long enough that I could actually turn the turner off. And, you know, I just was working on tumblers. And, but anyway, here we are. I'm getting it done now. I'm, I really like this vase. I love the colors. It has a little hint of gold. There's turquoise, white, and I really I can't remember what other colors. It's been so long since I poured this. But I am going to be adding a decal to it. I cut out gold glitter vinyl. And it says freshly picked flowers. And I did a wonderful job of centering there so you could see the whole thing. Sorry about that. Now I'm just going to turn the cup around a little bit and try to find a nice spot to put it. I kind of want to put it on a spot that isn't all that great. Probably right there where the white kind of goes a little bit funny. Everything else looks good. The color's nice. The lines are good. So I'm just backing it up here to maybe put it there. No. I think I'm going to put it there. Yeah, where that white has kind of gone funny, I think I'll cover it up with the decal. So I'm using a brand new piece of strong grip transfer paper. I've heard that it's recommended that you use strong grip for glitter vinyl. I don't know how true that is, but I've always used it or have been using it and I haven't had a problem with picking up my glitter vinyl with the strong grip. And I just really don't want to test that theory by using regular grip. So I just eyeballed it to try to get it centered and straight and working with the curve of the cup, I just lay the transfer paper down with the decal on it and burnish it in with my finger. Not very complicated stuff. And you can tell that this is a fresh piece of transfer paper on a freshly epoxied vase because <laughs> it's really hanging on tight and I'm having to tug at it a little bit to get it to come off. But thankfully the vinyl stays in place where it's supposed to 
and I just put the transfer paper back on the carrier sheet there and I'll be able to reuse that several times. Eventually the tackiness goes away and you need to get a new piece of transfer paper. So I'm going back to my uh, regular curing epoxy. This is artist, or pardon me, Artworks Resin Art Resin. So this is going to be on my turner turning for probably five, five hours just until it stops moving and then I can turn the turner off and let it just continue to cure as normal. But there's a good look of how how much nicer this vase looks now with some resin and a pretty little gold decal on it. And here it is upright, ready for some flowers. Really happy with how this turned out so much nicer and now that it's covered it with epoxy it's no longer going to stick to any surfaces I don't know if you ever used acrylic paint but sometimes um, they stick to the counter or stick to the table and now there's not going to be that problem anyway thank you so much for joining me and watching my video please leave a comment and let me know what you think of my vase bye